Oh, look. Oh, my God. What's wrong with this? Look at this bunny rabbit, guys. Look at its face. What is going on here? What was that? Did you guys see that? Nature's tough, man. I don't know if you know this, but dying in the wild rarely happens from dying of old age. Hey, what's going on everyone? Ken in here and there is Bobby Rubino. I put him outside for a little sun on this nice day. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how I've been taking care of him and what I've been doing to try and keep him alive, which he is. He's definitely alive. You see he flinches a bit. He's just not moving normally. And I don't know, he's kind of bloated in here. And so it makes me nervous, but I wanna see him make another poop. But he is a little bit more active than he's been in the last couple of days. He's also puffing up because he's probably trying to defend himself against me or make him Self look really sketchy. I wonder, wait a minute. Oh yeah, you could probably see my wife reading in the background there. I didn't even think of that. There she is, my little bathing beauty. Oh, I love her. She's somewhat obscured by the chair. So anyhow, it's a nice day. Hi, hon. Hi. Hi, she's thrilled to be on camera. Uh, she does not want to be on camera. Anyway, here we are. So let's go this way. And um, what we're going to do is we've got two milliliters of what is called a reptile ringer. And our friend, Dr. Mike Gillen, uh, definitely helped us out with this. And it's been amazing. And in fact, could you hold this camera for a minute, darling? She doesn't mind helping out a little bit while I do a little, a little Bobby Rubino work. So here he is right here. We've got the reptile ringers. It's basically um, some dextro, some lactated ringers, and some uh, sodium uh, chlorate water. Uh, basically, sodium, what is it? Sodium chlorate? Is that right? No, I, don't I don't know. You're the professional. I'm not really a pro uh, at veterinary care, but um, I did consult. I like how he's reacting. I like how he's trying to bite me again, or he's getting a little bit more perky. He's definitely, uh, I don't know. I'm hoping he's going to be on the mend here. But what we want to do is we want to grab him gently and we kind of turn him on his side and this means that all of his organs are going to be kind of slopping down there to one side gravity helps out so what i like to do is you come in right above right above there and i know you guys are probably like oh god but you're just going to go right under the under the skin and we're going to gently push the fluids two milliliters of these fluids right in you don't want to go too deep because you don't want to pierce his organs and you just want to push the plunger down gently put it in there so it's all going in his body these are fluids that are going to keep his kidneys rolling there we go little buddy and it's going to keep him happy so i don't know man he, what do you think what do you think hon well i think he looks better than he has yeah but um i mean he's obviously not a normal self but no, i think definitely he's, not. he's getting better look he's climbing that's I pretty know. good that's pretty good right i'm gonna keep on going man i'm not gonna feed him again until i see a nice poopies uh, i've been giving him critical care which is a um product by oxbow uh which is a company that makes different uh medical diets and such for uh these reptiles thank you so much dear um and so guys you know it's just about keeping this animal alive and healthy and maybe we could get him turned around the thing is is that that belly is so fat so i don't want to keep filling him with food i'd rather have him have liquids that's the most important thing uh, we know reptiles can go a little bit longer without food but liquids are going to be very important but i don't know guys what do you think does he look better than in past videos i think his tongue's flicking out a lot um, we got him out here in the natural sun it's very important you know that we do this checkup on Bobby Rubino. I just wanted to be as thorough with this story as possible because so many of you are concerned about it and so many of you can learn uh, by what's going on with him. But look at how cute he is, man. So he is a little guy. And of course you've seen John and Chevy, the new black throats that we've gotten. And uh, that's what I hope Bobby Rubino turns into, man. I just love him. And uh, if it is in fact a he, I don't know, but it's a beautiful animal. And uh, through this whole process, he and I have definitely gotten closer together. So I'm going to go ahead and put him down. I want him to, uh, oh, he's holding on pretty good there. There you go, Bobby. There you go, Bobby. That's a boy. So we're going to just let him do his thing. He'll have the sunlight. He's been, he doesn't look like, you know, he's so used to the um, injections now that he's just such a good animal. So I, I hope, you know, just by being very uh, proactive and aggressive with the treatment that will keep him going. Now I wanted to kind of switch gears 
and kind of show you um, something cool. This is my mulberry tree. It's really starting to grow. And if you guys live in an area where you can grow mulberries, uh, I suggest you do it. They're big leaves, but they're nutritious leaves. And reptiles that are herbivores happen to love these leaves. So I wanted to pluck a few off. I wanted to go around and feed some of the critters um, just to show you how you guys can feed your animals right from your own home if you're able to grow these trees uh, where you live. I don't know much about mulberry trees. I do believe you can grow them up north. Obviously, though, you guys would only be able to do this during the spring and summer months. Um, but they are so good. They've got a white milky sap, you can kind of see. So we're just going to grab a little and we're going to go visit a couple of lizards and maybe some tortoises and I just want to give them a little bit. But you can also see the mulberries are starting to grow. So this tree is going to get huge. Some people were like, why'd you plant that next to your pond? It's going to shed. I don't mind. Uh, I just wanted this tree to shade my pond. If some of the berries and things fall in, that's okay because I've got some cichlids in there. Uh, they'll eat some of the berries. I've got some other animals in there that'll eat the berries. There is actually, uh, I did see a slider turtle in there, so I'm just leaving it. Oh, look. Oh my God, what's wrong with this? Look at this bunny rabbit, guys. Look at its face. What is going on here? Oh my God, this is horrible. Oh my God, that is disgusting. Ugh, it looked like the elephant rabbit. What was that? Did you guys see that? Ugh, that can't be good, man. I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna try and catch that bunny. Uh, not now, but oh my gosh, that was horrific. It's got some kind of disease. Man, and that, oh, that just shows you that nature is cruel. That animal's eyes were all, there was no fur on its head. It had all kinds of, kind of disease on its skin there. And its eyes were barely even open. Gosh, man, nature doesn't care. And it's so funny because, you know, so many people maybe think that by keeping reptiles or keeping animals in captivity, you know, you're, you're being horrible to them. And, you know, in some cases, if you aren't doing the right thing with the animals, yeah, you are being horrible. But when you can provide animals nutritious food in a safe place and veterinary care and all these other things that I like to do with my animals to keep them happy and healthy, in some ways, these captive animals are just in a better situation than they are in nature. Because nature is tough, man. I don't know if you know this, but dying in the wild rarely happens from dying of old age. You get eaten. You get disease, accidents befall you. I'm not saying that animals don't belong in the wild, don't misunderstand, but just seeing that rabbit really freaked me out because it just shows you that nature will get rid of organisms any way it knows how. And as we've seen in the last year, disease is one of its more effective ways of getting rid of some uh, animals. So I don't know guys, that just kind of startled me. That's really weird. I, I hope you were able to see how gross that rabbit looked. And I'm gonna definitely wanna kinda get over there and see if I could catch that rabbit and maybe humanely euthanize it because that does not look good. And I just don't want that animal running around my yard. Maybe it'd get the other rabbits in the yard sick. But in the meantime, here's Solomon. And Solomon's hanging out right now. I did mention I am gonna uh, sell these guys. I'm gonna use the money for the new enclosures. So um, these guys, I don't know how much longer they're gonna be at Camp Kennan. Uh, but I do want them to go to a good spot, but I am going to use the money and, um, you know, we're going to put it right into the new reptile enclosure. Um, so there's Solomon having a little mulberry leaf and these guys love mulberry leaves. They're filled with calcium and a lot of vitamins that these guys love. So we're going to let him do his thing. Now, Diabla, La Diabla is probably inside the box. I don't see her anywhere else. Do you guys? Oh, they were eating some pothos. That's what they eat in the wild. I grab pothos and throw it in, but they're getting some of their mulberry. I'm just going to put this mulberry right there and I'll come back later. Whoa, look at that. It got pulled right in. Holy smokes. I guess she's hungry. <laughs> she pulled it right in. That is awesome. But look at how he goes, man. Just such a cool lizard. And he's just chomping down on some mulberry leaf. All right, let's leave these two to eat. Wow, she must have been hungry. She sucked that thing right in the hole. She is no joke, La Diabla. Okay, next up, let's go see who else we've got, of course. Crazy Sophia and Stumpy. Oh, look at these guys enjoying that nice hot sun. 
Okay, I'm gonna get, I have to get this ready. I think I'm gonna do a couple of these, four of these, you see, they're on sprigs. Now they're gonna get excited. She always rushes the cage. Even the, even as we've put her in this new one. Hi, here's some leaves. Whoa, you gotta be careful with her because she'll jump right, look at her. She is a wild woman. She loves to eat. Come on, Stumpy. Look at how cool he looks up on his branch. Oh yeah. What's up? I'm Stumpy and I'm here to nod my head and let you know I'm the boss. But she's chomping down, man. So as I mentioned on Friday's video, you know, I've been kind of rearranging the animals, getting them ready because some animals are going to be uh, sold so that it can complete the large enclosure in the back. And to be honest, um, now with all these new rules going into effect, um, obviously I've never really been focused on you know breeding and selling but i've realized that you know i don't need two pair of rhino iguana adults um so i figure i can offer them up and move them out and uh, this way i'm able to use the funds to kind of get more involved in the enclosures for some of the other animals that i have here and i'd like to uh you know get a few more monitor species um and as i mentioned also come here guy come here buddy there's, there's the leaves, why'd you go that way? Um, as I mentioned in the previous video also, right now, um, rock iguanas and monitors are not, um, are not illegal. Some of you thought they, they are. Only the Nile monitor has been made prohibited. Um, that being said, even if they make monitors, um, if they make monitors a prohibited species, all of them, then I will in fact be able to be grandfathered in but I won't be able to breed them unless it's for conservation purposes. He does not look like he's interested in a uh, in an actual leaf. Oh look, now he's gonna now he's gonna go for hers. What a jerk! Oh my gosh, that's just typical stealing food off her plate. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. There we go. That's what we want to see. Oh, she's ready to go for the camera. Let's get him. See, these guys aren't exactly tame, but they will eat out of your hand, but they are still a little skittish. Um, but Stumpy, man, what a beaut. I love that guy. So cool. Even with his little tail. Pretty good looking lizard. And you notice how he got rid of the stalk? So these guys eat the leaves. They do not eat the stalks. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's see who else is hungry today. I'll show you who else can eat mulberry leaves. Like I said, really good um, plant. And there's a lot of plants that you can grow, hibiscus, um, you know, you can grow your own lettuce, escarole, things like that. Oh, you think, I don't have enough for everybody, but I am gonna throw some pellets out. Come here, guys. This is a character. This tortoise is always escaping into the backyard. Um, but my goodness, let's see how they like some mulberry. Pretty good stuff, man. I love the red foots. They're so hardy. They're good tortoises. There's Lego. Come on, Lego, get on over that rock, you crazy gal. Let's see how she negotiates this rock, everybody. Oh, Lego. Come on, girl. Oh, easy does it. Easy does it. Uh, oh. <laughs> I love it. They are the coolest, aren't they? They're like little four by fours. I'll tell you what, since she's so cool and awesome, we're gonna go ahead and throw her a leaf close by she gotta look down look down lego there you go that's a girl all right so she's got a leaf unfortunately not everyone's gonna get a leaf but don't worry they're gonna get fed here in a little bit i love them man they are just chomping down so the red foots are doing good we've got baby red foot eggs hatching now i'm really excited about that so if you guys are interested in any of my animals oh let me just silence this i apologize it's probably tom calling me no, it's not. Uh, it's a good friend. Hold on. Hey, what's going on, Mike? I'm going to have to call you right back. I'm just finishing a video. And now, and now you're on it. Well, yeah, the phone call. He says hello to everybody out there. All right, Mike, I'll call you right back, buddy. All right, man. Bye. Oh, I haven't talked to Mikey in a while. All right, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. Just love to show you what's going on day to day here at Camp Cannon. It's always involving animals. Bobby Rubino is on the mend, I hope. Uh, we're gonna keep aggressively treating him. We're gonna keep feeding these animals and uh, we're gonna keep providing them with the absolute best habitats that I can provide 
to inspire you guys to build really cool habitats for your animals. That's what we're all about here at Camp Tenon, and I just want to keep spreading that love of reptiles. Don't forget, we're going to be finishing up a big enclosure out back. We got the Aquascapes guys coming next week, so be sure to tune in. It's going to be an awesome video watching these guys put together an amazing pond for Slinky and the Black Throat Monitors. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Looks like the food's gone. See ya.